CustomTacTales.com here, and today I'm reviewing a uh, Zero Tolerance 0801 Rexford designed knife. This is a very, very cool and very, very reasonably priced Zero Tolerance knife with a great design, titanium handles, uh, bead blasted, and uh, LMAX blade. The Almax steel is a very good steel. I'm really quite impressed with it. I think it's, uh, I think it's a, it's, it's nice to, I mean, the reality is, is that we're all kind of gadget nuts here, and we, we uh, kind of always gawk at the same steel over and over again on our knives, and we want something different so that, um, you know, keeps things interesting. So using something like Almax steel here, which is, you know, very good steel, is uh, keeps things interesting and, and makes you want to try it out because it's something different, right? Um, Almax Steel has been out for quite a few years now, but we aren't seeing it used in too many knives. We're still seeing a lot of the S30V, 154CM, and now the S35VN as well. Um, the, uh, the Almax is a good steel. Oops, knocked my thing there. Um, so yeah, it's very good steel. Um, this one here measures in, um, let's just go Imperial here. We're looking at about three and a half inches on the blade, and overall about eight and a quarter. So it's a good size. Um, you're gonna, you're, you're seeing about uh, large Sebenza size here. Very good grip on the handle. Very comfortable. The the flipper there is, is a nice guard, and uh, rides on bearings like a lot of the a lot of the knives do now. It's pretty common. Let's do a zoom in quick here. Take a look. Zero tolerance. Machined into the handle there, um, three three spaces along the back. It's a little overkill, but hey, it uh, doesn't add too much weight. Um, deep pocket clip, deep riding pocket clip is reversible from this side, left to right. Uh, nothing on the front though. Um, titanium frame lock design with steel insert. As you can see, it's steel insert there. Um, the steel insert also doubles as a as a lock bar stabilizer because it goes for the back there, um, so you don't need to have that uh, hinder designed external lock stabilizer on it. Keeps it a nice low profile package. Um, very well made, no play at all. Super super smooth. It flips really well. You don't need any uh, you don't need any wrist flick at all. This thing will will open with just a flick of the finger. Very smooth, quite like it. It's nice. I think it's a it's a really good bang for buck knife. You can pick these up for sort of the just under the 150 range, I believe, new, or maybe they're about 160 new, um, or maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, but uh, well under 200, which is which is very nice for for a knife of this quality. Um, I think Zero Tolerance does some good stuff, and, and and they do some great collaborations, and I think they really they really hit this one right in the nail it's 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 a nice design very comfortable knife great EDC super practical um, yeah can't see anything wrong with it and I really enjoy this one so I uh, hope you guys enjoy the quick review and uh, have a good one